There are many different operations that are performed for the treatment of uterovaginal prolapse, which is when the uterus actually falls into the vagina and sometimes can even come past the opening of the vagina. There's a misconception out there that when a hysterectomy is performed, then the problem is solved, which is actually not the case because the problem is actually the pelvic floor muscles that aren't really coming together anymore. Typically, the pelvic floor muscles are sitting like a bowl in the pelvis, and they help support the uterus, the bladder, the vagina, and the rectum. But after a vaginal delivery, these muscles are damaged. Therefore, they don't come together anymore. If they're not coming together and they're sitting apart like this, the uterus can fall right through them because the ligaments that support them have actually stretched. So if you remove the uterus, what's going to happen a short time after, top of the vagina can prolapse through, the bladder can come down, or the rectum can come down. So it's very important to support every single vaginal wall, including the front, the back, and the top, so the recurrence rate is much less. The dissection is done between the bladder and the vagina, and a piece of graft is attached here through a very small vaginal incision, shown in white. The same is done in the back between the rectum and the vagina, shown in white again. The same procedure can be performed robotically from the above through very small skin incisions with attachment of the graft to a ligament in front of the backbone. In this case, the body of the uterus is removed and the cervix is left behind, which is called supracervical hysterectomy.